Hello everyone and welcome to the first installment or the first tutorial of how to make your own virtual museum exhibit in Unreal 4. I'm using version 4.11 so I suggest that you use that same version or later. Okay so the first thing that we're going to do is hopefully you have downloaded a bunch of stuff, you've made a project, right? You've got all this stuff which I, I have imported all things from Infinity Blade but I also imported this nice picture from the realistic rendering demo. And uh, it's got a picture frame with this lovely picture of some ships on the sea. But I don't want that picture. I want my own picture that I'm gonna bring in. So I'm gonna show you how to do that pretty simply. So the first thing that we wanna do is make our own folder to store and organize stuff. And we wanna do that over here in a tab called the content browser. Yours may be laid out a little differently. I've sort of moved things around to how I like them. Um, so to find the content browser and then I've already made a folder called my stuff but you just right click and create a new folder and then I'm going to double click to open it so I don't have anything in my folder and I want to add my picture that I've made so I right click and then I go to import and you might have to browse to wherever your picture is and here's one that I've downloaded from the digitized online collection at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. I've made it smaller um, and made it put it in a different format but you don't have to. So I'm going to double click on that and you can see that it's added my picture of a nice snowy winter scene into my folder. So it's in the game but I can't actually drag it over and put it into my painting yet. In order to do that I have to modify the materials that are associated with this object. So we're going to do that next. So go over um, into this middle window and click on the object or the painting that we want to modify. And then we're going to find the details tab. So here we go, details, mine's here, I'm going to click on it. And what we're looking at is all of the stuff that is associated with, with um, this image, where it is in the world, its scale, um, the collision, all those kinds of things. Now, we are only gonna be looking at one um, aspect, and that is the material. So in this material slot, you see this round ball, and that is where all the information about um, what we're looking at, what sort of skinning or texturing this, this mesh. Okay, so uh, we're gonna find this, we're gonna modify this material because that's gonna be the easiest way really to do this. So click on the magnifying glass next to that material, which is called M Painting 1. And here we find it in the content browser. It's nicely highlighted from us. Now I don't want to make changes directly to this sort of master material. What I wanna do is make a copy of this material and modify the copy. So I right click on the material and I click duplicate. And so it's duplicated and given me a default name, but I am going to give it a name the same as my um, image that I imported, just with a different ending so I can keep everything straight. So there we are, Met Glax and Matt, short for material. Okay, so this is the thing I'm going to uh, modify, not the original one. So I double click on it, and this opens the material editor. So if I use my scroll wheel to scroll out and I click on the right mouse button and drag to move around, you can see a huge mess of nodes and pictures um, in, in the, these images. So if you've never seen these before, don't panic. Um, we're only gonna change one thing here. And all of these nodes help modify. Um, for instance, this has a nice crackle, crackle and um, it has, it's, it's it's got the frame attached to it, right? Um, but we're not gonna mess with any of that. We're just gonna swap out the picture. So what you notice right here in the very top base color, that's where the, the main picture is attached. So if you kind of follow this over along the top here, you'll see something called texture sample. Not this one, but this one above it. If you click on that, it shows you its own details panels. And under here, we know it's the right thing because we can see the picture. There are the ships um, on the ocean, right? So here's where I wanna put my snow scene. So I'm gonna click on the drop down arrow and I'm gonna search and there it is. There's Met Glaxon, there's my painting. So I click on it. Yep, now I see there's my winter scene and that's it. That's all we have to do. We click apply click save 
And then I'm going to go ahead and close this window down. Okay, so I've made my material, but it's still not in the picture. So now we can do one of two things. You can either um, click this and drag it, or we can select the painting. And here we have M Paintings 1. I can click on the drop down arrow and I can search. And there's the material that I just made. So I can click on it and there it is. There's my snowy winter scene. So that's it. That's, that's part one. <laughs> okay. So now we have a picture on the wall, but if we, there's nothing, we can't do anything with it. So next time we're going to create a widget that allows people to click on that or when people click on that painting to see information and stuff about it. Okay. I'll see you in the next.